Howdy Partnoids, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to go through bud switches uh, as I used them in my first episode of building the bat cave. Um, I'm going to show you these three designs. I don't think you need really more than this. Uh, and if you have seen or found or created a better design, then hit me up with it and I'll definitely uh, take a look because as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty much all you need. So um, I'm going to go through how to build these three. Uh, what they do, what you can use them for, and then a little bit of science behind bud switches as it is a bug and it'll probably get patched out one day, um, but hopefully not because they're awesome. So, um, yeah. So, the idea is if you power a block uh, diagonally adjacent to a, a piston like this, so this is on the diagonal, that's on a diagonal, and so is that. Uh, if you power that block and then you update any of the spaces next to the piston, uh, it makes it move. So if we turn that on, we've updated this block here and the piston moves. And then if you want it to come back in, you have to unpower the block and then update uh, a block next to it again and it will come in. Um, and that goes for any block that updates. So uh, gates, um, redstone ore like that. Um, cake, uh, furnaces, all that kind of stuff. So anything that updates, uh, including placing stuff onto blocks. So um, let me give an example of that. So if you were to whack that there and then update it by... Uh, where's the redstone torch? There she is. Um, and then update it by doing that. Because you've updated this block here because you've put something onto it the same idea occurs so if you wanted to do it that way um, <coughs> that will work so that's that and now I'm going to take you through how to build one that's kind of working in a loop uh, which is great for the kind of button idea where it automatically turns off so it can come back in on the second update so you press that there and it comes out or place that there and it comes out but this is now turned off and so when you update any of these blocks again uh, it's going to attract in like that. Whereas if this wasn't there, nothing would happen. And if you were just powering that, it would go out. But then when you take it away, it wouldn't come back in. So you have to have uh, this little loop uh, fella going on. So cool. I'll show you how to build this. And then I'm going to do a 60 seconds with CNB um, showing you how to build the one wides a bit later on. Uh, so cool. Hawkeye. So the super compact uh, bud goes like this. Three blocks, one up like that, knock that block out, come around the other side. Piston, trench two long, one deep. Torches, uh, block above that, then redstone up to there, and then repeat you into there. Um, and that is it, and your output comes off here, basically. Um, so now, whenever you update an adjacent block to this piston, other than this redstone here, um, it's going to extend and give you a signal so if you do that you've got yourself a signal you attract no signal um same there same there uh, and the reason this is so much better than what i was using uh in building the bat cave is now if we use redstone um with the old update trick um where it emits light like that um it's going to turn itself on and then it's going to turn itself off basically um which is exactly what I was um, doing, but I just used a slightly more kind of convoluted design. So this is this is a lot better. I'm going to be using it now. Um, so yeah, that's a heads up for you guys. Obviously, you can attach this to sort of secret. Well, what I attach it to is secret doors. Um, anything that you want to use a kind of uh, clandestine design for, um, where you know you don't have an obvious button to open a door safe stash whatever the hell you want to hook it up to um this is this is the design for you basically um now if you want a one wide design this is what i was using this is recon jeff's design um i'll put links in the description obviously credit original authors with their work um so this is just one wide and it does exactly the same thing um except i've added a uh mono stable circuit here at the end which is essentially a pulse limiter uh, in this case which spits out this block onto that every time you update so if you watch closely 
and it just basically allows it to toggle on and off, which again is much better than what I had before. Um, just been playing around with bud switches a bit. So um, if you guys want to know how to build this, then obviously I'm going to include the world save so you can come and have a look at it. Uh, it's not particularly complicated. One wide always has its advantages, of course. So um, check it out if, if that helps you. And then this other one here uh, is uh, Minecraft Addicts. Uh, version which is essentially uh, exactly the same it's just slightly taller but slightly shorter so you know go for it um, obviously you can use ye olde furnace uh, oh, what am I trying to cook bit of cobblestone bit of cobblestone there it is you can use it as a, a furnace detector as it were um, so when the furnace finishes, um, it will tell you when it's run out of coal. Uh, and you could hook it up to note blocks or whatever you want. I think Etho did that originally. And of course, Etho is the guy that made uh, this all happen because he discovered uh, bud switches, as far as I'm aware, originally. So, um, yeah, cheers to him for that and cheers for you guys for watching.